What is up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. In a recent stream, it was Summit 1G still playing Halo, which is great to see. Halo Infinite has been a game I really enjoy. He's been playing ranked, though, and maybe not enjoying some matches. And after losing a match where no one was seemingly calming and no one was really talking, Summit 1G went on a little bit of a rant why the top rank Onyx in Halo Infinite sometimes is like silver in other games because nobody communicates. Oh, that's on you, on you, on you, Roy. Oh, goodness fucking lord have mercy, man. I mean, you gotta... Man, that's some sort of tunnel vision right there, my friend. You just, you're just staring right at that thing. Our OS is going to our flag. Or the OS is going to our flag. Green room, green. Dead. Bro, I peek, he hits me one time, my shield's back to not recharging, bro. One long, our needlers, one shot. They're pulling. <laughs> Homie's hiding, can't call shit. I love it, dude. Our training would have been a nice call there, mute guy. That would have been fucking nice. Hiding for fucking dear life behind a corner. Doesn't say a goddamn thing. Oh, man. I'm losing my fucking mind. How can you play to uh, Listen, you want to know what the testament is, right? to your ranking in Halo, you want, Onyx is basically silver level because any top ranking in any game that doesn't have t comms is shit tier. Every Counter-Strike game you will ever get into that's like, like even like LEM Plus will have fucking comms. Just being a fucking complete mutant Halo at Onyx level is a joke, dude. More, they communicate more in League of Fucking Legends. Like, get a fucking, like, get a grip, community. Like, get the fuck on the microphones. Like, it's a joke. That's a joke. How are you, Onyx, no comms? It's fucking A, dude. You guys have a dress. I'll look by a fat guy. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. And ironically so, it was actually shortly after this game. The, the following game and the game after that, he actually had some teammates with some great communication and they did start winning games. It's still great seeing Summit sling Halo, by the way, but certainly something that has a vein of truth for a lot of people out there. So what do you think about Summit 1G kind of raging at Halo comms and people not hopping on the mic when it comes to Halo ranked? I don't know if any of you guys are, are Halo ranked players. I typically play more of the casual modes. And usually nowadays when I play video games, I'm in a discord with my homies and I, I do sometimes feel bad about my teammates that I'm not talking to, but I don't usually talk in both game chat and in my discord chat. I usually just game with the homies, which is nice because also most of the time we have a four or five man stack, which fills the full team on most games. So that's like, that's like where I'm on this. And I, I definitely feel for Summit though, because those, there are all those games out there where you talk and no one says anything and you're like, okay. I'm just gonna focus on myself. So, clerk, hey, no brother. You ask for comms, it makes the difference. I know not everybody wants to calm all the fucking time. You don't even have to calm like crazy. You just fucking be calm fucking 30% of the shit that happens to you, which you think is important. And then even comparing it to a game like Counter-Strike, that is definitely a great comparison and a difference of these FPS games that I have noticed. And maybe you guys can agree or disagree. Halo for me is definitely more of a casual game and more of a casual FPS than CS. Like you will never hop into a matchmaking game for CS, especially once you break, you know, out of... I would even say, like, even in silver, though, breaking out of silver especially, though, you will never find a game where people are not on their comms and on their mics because it is required and it is very, very important. And I feel like CS has a lot more mics and comms than 
than Halo as an FPS game. Am I, am I wrong in saying that? Like when I play Halo, even though I feel like it's a bit more casual and you're a bit more willing to lose because there's a higher replayability, typically in my opinion, shorter games too, uh, and time invested, but that's just how, how I feel. And Summit 1G certainly angered by it. And hopefully this inspires all future Halo players, especially when they're playing with Summit to use your microphone. What do y'all think to next time? Cheers, all right, drink up for me, stay hydrated. As always guys, we appreciate you being here. And we'll catch you back here for the next news video. All right. Ta-ta.